So we talked about the characteristics of life, um, but life has to actually implement the structure, homeostasis or control of the interior of uh, the structure, metabolism or extracting energy from the environment. It needs to be able to grow, have recipes for that growth as an inheritance, reproduce, uh, and then it has the capability of, of dying. So we can start with the structure. And uh, life on Earth is cellular. And it has a cell wall um, on the outside. Uh, so, so this implements the structure. So the cell wall forms the structure um, but to get the homeostasis, it needs this cell needs to be able to exchange things from the outside uh, to the inside. And a lot of that ex exchange is controlled by variations in the cell wall so that allow certain things to pass in or some of them um, maybe transport things out of the cell. Uh, but these uh, processes might be very specific to certain chemicals. Um, this control of what happens, it, what passes through uh, the, the cell wall uh, is what allows the cell to maintain uh, homeostasis. So that extra control is provided by a plasma membrane. And so this provides additional uh, structure uh, uh, that helps control the, the types of things that can get in and out of the cell. And then that the plasma membrane also has uh, proteins and enzymes embedded in it that, that do different processes, right? And so um, for a bacterial cell, uh, the metabolism is controlled, this extraction of energy is controlled by enzymes uh, in the cell membrane, and these can do things like uh, produce a proton gradient. Uh, so you end up with hydrogen on the, or protons on the outside and not in the middle, and the process of those protons going back through the membrane can create an energetic molecule, for example, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Um, so it basically takes uh, adenosine diphosphate, adds a phosphate to it, and with that energetic um, uh, molecule to it. Right. So one of the things that cells do is they localize the metabolism in specific places. Mm -hmm. So then we have the aspect of growth. And if the cell is autotrophic, sort of automatically eating, it takes abiotic carbon like carbon dioxide and converts it to organic molecules. Right? And that can happen uh, somewhere uh, inside of the cell here. Or if it's heterotrophic, as in it eats different things, it basically uh, takes in organics from the environment. So that would mean that there's, there's, there are transporters through the cell wall and membrane that take the organic molecules from the environment and brings them into the cell where they can, for example, react with oxygen. So there needs to also be a, an ability to bring um, molecular oxygen into the cell where these two can react 
and produce energy. So one of the interesting things about bacterial cells is that they can do a lot of, of different reactions to get energy. Um, whereas uh, animal cells, eukaryotic cells, have many fewer options. Um, some are photosynthetic, uh, some use oxygen, and there's also uh, this process of, of fermentation where you basically take organics in and it breaks them into smaller organics um, maybe with a methane and another organic molecule that gives energy. Right. So this is a process of fermentation. We'll talk a lot about the metabolisms um, in a later video, uh, but one of the key aspects is that it, this requires a lot of different stu structures. They have to be organized uh, structures. This energy allows uh, cells to grow, right? And so basically that depends on the energy uh, plus the incorporation of organic molecules into the cell itself. So we have organics coming in and these are converted into um, critical cell components. So for example, this, this might be amino acids, which are the organic molecules that um, create proteins. And these are going to be different than the ones that are used for fermentation or to react with oxygen for energy. They have, they have different components. So now we, these, these processes require the structure, which means that we need some form of inheritance uh, or uh, DNA, the recipe for how things go. And inside the cell, so for bacteria, they have chromosomes that are all sort of tangled up in the cell that, that are actually circular. And there are, again, um, enzymes that we'll talk about more later that will attach to the DNA and um, create uh, the uh, reactive component of the genetic material, the RNA, which can be converted into enzymes. So here we have uh, a little bit of, of messenger RNA being produced. Okay. This messenger RNA uh, breaks off at the end of the gene, and there are um, structures called ribosomes, which basically read that messenger RNA and use it as the template uh, to make enzymes. Right. So this, this process of inheritance is really having a recipe to make the molecules that allow the cell to function. So it goes from the chromosome into messenger RNA to these structures called ribosomes, which basically assemble those amino acids into the enzymes that get embedded in the cell walls and the, the uh, various uh, membranes and all these systems that produce the, the energy. So that's, that's how the cell 
functions, but of course we know that it needs to reproduce. And this is a process of cell division. So the DNA has to be copied into another strand of the DNA. And of course that, that happens uh, with uh, uh, enzymes, uh, proteins, and then the, the cell has to uh, actually divide. And so the interior of the cell has all of these, these sorts of fibers in it that keep things in place and affect the cell structure. And when the cell is going to divide, basically the, there are a bunch of these filaments that sort of span across the cell and uh, pinch it into two and allow the cell wall and cell membranes to um, uh, join into, in this case, two, two circles, ideally with um, one copy of the chromosome in each cell. That doesn't always work. Um, but if it doesn't work, the cell dies. So if you think about ways that the cells can die, um, there are of course many of them. Basically, breaking the cell wall can do it. Um, not having enough resources for energy can do it. Not having the organic molecules for the critical cell components can do it. Uh, problems and mutations in the D DNA that um, kill parts of the recipe uh, can cause death. Uh, so there, there are many different things that, that can cause death. So in summary, we basically have a whole series of structures and uh, enzymes that enable all of these characteristics of life that have evolved uh, through billions of years on Earth. And through that process of evolution, a lot of different detailed implementations of these um, have evolved uh, through time, giving us the diversity of life on Earth. Thanks for watching.